Uh, hello friends, my name is Hamid. Uh, today I'm working on this Electrolux semi commercial dishwasher. Customer was getting E3 error code. And that means that we have problem with the heat element, a communication problem between the main control board and heat element. If you have a weak heat element that will cause E3 error code, or if you are getting power 24 seven coming into the heat element because it's not doing its job, it's not heating properly, it will also cause the same issue E3 error code. Okay, so this the skip plate comes off, which is all if you have the power is off into the dishwasher. Everything is off. We're gonna focus on the heat element here. So the the way the heat elements are on these ones, these two pins so for one heat element there's three elements um and this one tube and there's one on top there's one at the middle there's another one at the bottom so you see those lines so i made them the element looks like that So this one and that one, one element, this one and that one, another element, and then at the bottom there is another element. Uh, we're gonna check for uh, the element for continuity, and we should get uh, about 20, 22, 23 ohms, a little bit higher or lower. Uh, so I'm gonna use my multimeter, so you can see on the ohms. I will get the reading between this and this. We have nothing. See, there is nothing. And now between this one and that one. nothing and then the last one between those two nothing so the element has um, burnt and i was here actually last week to do to do the, all of this testing i found that the element was the problem i ordered another one um, so the new, new one is here looks so these two pins one element uh, not those two sorry these between uh, these white ceramic pieces and uh, pink color ceramic pieces they're each one side of the element so these two uh, pins they go straight on one element and then the two center one goes on this from here as you can see it goes there and then the top element or the bottom is these two I will also actually get my um, reading here too to make sure we are good and I'll get the reading so between 
this one and this one. Twenty three ohms. The center one. Twenty three ohms. Even if it's up to twenty five ohms, between twenty to twenty five ohms, it's acceptable. And the last one. 22 ohms so that's good let me see see 22 ohms that's good so now we're gonna we're gonna replace the element in order to replace the element um, you have to you have to vacuum all the water out you need for that for these uh, nuts you use eight millimeter and for the heat element contacts you use seven millimeter you need a long deep socket i have these um, extensions that i can use on eight millimeter and what you can do when you open this top one, make sure the power is off. You open it a little bit and run your vacuum. A little bit open. Get your vacuum ready. I have I have vacuumed uh, half of the water out already, but I'll do the rest now. If you have a small vacuum, you may want to retort it back again, drain your vacuum and then start it again because you will have a lot of water there. Model and serial numbers on the uh, left hand side. Again, they're your eight millimeter socket, deep socket. Okay, the element seems okay from outside but it's broken from inside when i tested it um it also has a gasket when you order your element make sure to uh, replace this o-ring gasket um, i have it it's here and the element part number is here It's four eight two eight one three, or ELX zero L two seven six nine. So these elements I found it from Parstown. So you put your O-ring here just like that so 
so I will take these um, wires out one by one seven millimeter socket to do this one by one make sure to uh, add the o-rings uh, the little small washers that you're taking off this one washer goes here and then this one goes and then one of these You can retort all of these nuts once the element is all the way in. Washer first, the element connection second, and then another washer, and then your stopper washer, and then the seven millimeter nut. Last one. Oh, also disconnect the ground so the old one is out.
I wouldn't recommend using a drill if you're not very good uh, with using it but if you know how to control the speed of the drill then you're okay to use it the ground. Also, you want to make sure that your gasket is seating there properly. So the way you want to install your element, uh, you want to install it in this position. You see this? The white on the right, the pink on the left. So I made a mistake in there, but I can fix it. So I'm just pulling it out and... like that good so far Yes, I make videos, so I kind of use that stand in there. Do you pull? You do? Yeah. Well, maybe I shouldn't be talking. It's okay. It's not a problem. Huh. Have you been doing that for a long time? Yes. You look for Hamid, uh, Hamid Wafa. Okay. Yeah. Even if you just Google my name, Hamid Wafa, yeah. you'll find my videos and posts about on Facebook and stuff like that too. Okay. Uh, you can turn on the power, please. Okay. So the customer is going to turn on the power. Everything seems okay here. My ground is in. I'm gonna have my vacuum ready in case it leaks wa uh, water. It doesn't happen, but who knows? My vacuum is ready, and then we are gonna use the use the dishwasher. And again, the model number for these units are just over there. And in order to get your uh, your element or any parts, you need your model and serial number. And also these elements, they come in 208 volts and 240 volts. You can run it now. It should okay, be Okay, start it, you can run it. Your tube element looks okay from outside you can yeah. see i cannot see any like on ovens when they explode you yeah. can actually see yeah, it they see break the... in pieces but these uh these your elements are really a strong build they don't explode they just go bad from inside it's working yeah okay so that's awesome i can tell it's the temperature is already oh yeah oh it's already getting hot and yeah. you can also feel the the element uh, running yeah, you can There's a little bit of noise, yeah. So that means the unit is working. Oh, that, that frustrates me so much. I know. That, you know, $2,600. Yes. From the previous. Well, if you find the right guy, 
we're gonna take care of you. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish my video here. Oh, yeah. I'm glad. I, I'm glad we found you again. <laughs> after Thank be, you. <laughs> because you were at Stalwarts. Yes, so I worked for them for the last three, four years. Yeah. And then I went on my own. Yeah, and then d I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, so you would call me. Well, I hope you don't have any problem with any of your, your appliances. I do a lot of high-end appliances, commercial and semi-commercial. Yeah. I don't work a lot on uh, full commercial because it's a little bit hard to get parts for them. Oh, is that but right? I would always go and help people if they need help. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to finish my video if you don't mind. Okay? No, please. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys have any questions, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. Thank you. And I give Hamid the two thumbs up. <laughs> He's an excellent uh, technician. Thank you. Thank you so much.